Okay guys, hey, what's up? This is Dion with MyFunWheel.com and uh, recently I had a couple customers um, ask me uh, that they were they were having trouble um, connecting their Gotway M Supers uh, to their cell phones uh, to be able to change the ride settings. Um, those of you who have connected know that you can change between three different ride settings um, from soft to medium to very aggressive ride style and uh, there's a lot of different features that the app Will allow you to do so. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a quick tutorial uh, on doing just that. So we're going to get connected. All right. So here we go. So basically, I've got my I've got my trusty Android device right here. Um, first thing you want to do is turn on the wheel. So I'm going to go ahead and locate the power button. And now, oh, oh come on, man, just, come on, self balance. All right. <laughs> Sometimes they don't they don't balance right away. All right. So, so first thing you want to do, uh, you don't want to jump into the app. You want to actually go into your phone's Bluetooth settings, and we're gonna try to cut, try to get a close up here. Um, so I'm gonna click on my particular settings. It's in the upper right hand corner. Oh, didn't do it. Okay, try it again. Swipe settings. All right. So now we are at the settings menu. And we're gonna to go to Bluetooth. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Bluetooth. And then now we're, <clears throat> we're at the Bluetooth uh, device selection screen. Oh, we got an update from Electric Unicycle Forum, one of my favorite places to be on the internet. Go check that out if you guys. Uh... Oh look, it's picking up the infrared that's coming off of the cell phone. <laughs> Only cameras can see it, like my eyes cannot see that, that little blinking dot up there. Yeah, that little blinking dot right there, that's IR. It's a spectrum we can't see, but the cameras can see it. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and search for, now usually it'll say Gotway, and it'll have an underscore and a four-digit number right next to it. Um, this particular one is not, that's one of my other Gotway uh, wheels. So I'm going to go ahead and search for devices, and we should, oh look, it immediately popped up. So Gotway underscore 3024 is this, this particular model. So when you guys go for your search, your first search, a lot of times it won't pop up right away. Um, but just make sure your wheel is on. And and eventually, you know, sometimes it, it might take 30 seconds or more. And then you'll be able to, um, it, it should pop up. So once we, we, uh, once we see it, go ahead and click on it. And then it's going to ask for type the device's required PIN number. And by default, it is 1234. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring up my... My screen one two three four my my numerical selector right here bam all right so click OK and then it's gonna say pairing pairing and boom now it's up here in the paired devices area so now we are paired once we get paired basically now now you can go into the app so you can go ahead and um like close the, the selection screen and <clears throat> let me flip it in landscape a lot of people like landscape better because it's like the full screen so if we'll go ahead and flip it in landscape all right now um, so now we go to the app so I'm gonna go to my apps usually it's in alphabetical order so it should be with the G's let's see gallery Gmail Google uh oh we're, we're, we got GO so it should be the next next one over Google settings and then Gotway, bam, right there. All right, so I don't know if I can get get a good close up. You guys, hope hope hopefully you guys can see that. <clears throat> we hit Gotway, boom, it brings up a menu. Now we remembered it was Gotway underscore three zero something something, right? So now I'm gonna go to my. There's a little. Hold on, let's see if I can get a good, because the camera's really not showing what it looks like. There's the look. There, there's what the icon looks like. Right there, so I'm gonna go ahead and click, and then look, it brings up all my gotways. Remember, it was underscore 3024, so we're gonna go ahead and click that. Bam! Now it should search for it, <clears throat> and once it connects, you'll see that it'll populate all the data, the data fields with with information. So, right here we have our temperature. It's kind of kind of hard to see, but 37, 30 looks like 37.6 Celsius. And then we have our battery life, which 
I'm, I'm sorry about the focus, but the camera is not, the autofocus is real, the autofocus is real late, guys, I'm sorry. So 61.4, 61.4 volts. Okay, now, to get into the selection screen where you can change your ride modes and all the different, uh, all the different really cool features, you hit these, you see these little three uh, vertical dots right there? Go ahead and hit that and bam. It comes up, connect device, vibration, advanced setting, ring five seconds, so on and so forth. So we're going to go to the menu, the more menu. So hit more. And now look, you can select between Madden mode, comfort mode, soft mode, speed alert setting, which those of you who don't like it to beep, like every, <laughs> it feels like it's beeping at you every five seconds. Like you can actually go in there like this, and then you can turn off level two alarm. Bam. And then it'll give you a like a little beep confirmation on the wheel and then you know you, you did some you know you did it right. So we're gonna go now in this demonstration I'm gonna do a few things. I'm gonna go change I'm gonna change the ride mode. So remember we go to settings more. Now we have Madden mode, which is the craziest, most aggressive ride mode. Then we have comfort mode, and then we have soft mode. So I'm just gonna uh, select the middle one, comfort. It'll say successful and you'll also get the beep confirmation. And that's it. Once you're in there, you're in there. Um, now, if you wanted to do a horizontal calibration, you can also, I'm not gonna, or a horizontal alignment is what they call it. Um, so basically, if your wheel is like kind of acting funny, like in turns, like if you, if, if you feel it shift kind of strangely uh, when you turn, then it probably just needs a horizontal alignment. Um, it's very simple. You just click that and follow the prompts. So horizontal alignment, and then it says, please put Gotway horizontal and then reboot. So basically you line up the Gotway and then you reboot. So I'm gonna, I'm actually do it <clears throat> so you guys can see. So what I do is <clears throat> I just get it to, <clears throat> to where it's like, like as, you know, as horizontal as it can be, Oop. right? As horizontal, like I'm, like I, like it would be cool if you could line it up. Oh, hold on. Okay, if you could line, I almost dropped the phone. So if you line it up with something else that you know is horizontal, like this, right? So horizontal, or even even better if you get like a bubble leveler, a bubble <coughs> uh, level. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> is it bubble level or a bubble level? You guys know what I'm talking about. Everybody in construction knows what that tool is. It's a leveler. If the bubble's in the middle, then you know you're you're horizontal. <clears throat> so once you do that, um, you go ahead and reboot. So I'm gonna reboot by pushing the power button off. Oh, uh oh, <laughs> I didn't go horizontal. I hope it works. Okay, now I'm gonna button on, and now it's gonna do this loud, and that's it. It's gonna beep forever. Like so, if you don't turn it off, like once it's done. Like for me, I just, I just, I just turn it off at that point after it's done that dip, 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 like that beep. <laughs> once that's, once the beep it uh, is done, then you can just turn it off and then turn it back on and see if, see if you're level. So you should be able to self balance after that, and it should, it should cure all that weirdness going in the turns and stuff. So there you have it. Way to connect. Uh, you guys are, you good. So hopefully this helps some of you out there. Um, changing ride modes and, and getting into the app. Uh, really cool stuff from Gotway. Thank you, Gotway, for making an excellent wheel. We love it over here, and so do my customers. So uh, keep them coming. All right? All right. Have a good day. This is Dion from MyFunWheel.com, and thank you for watching.